Hello guys and girls, welcome to another vlog because that's what I've been doing recently and um, I'd like to talk about a few things uh, firstly Batman Superman <laughs> yes Comic Con updates basically have stated that we're gonna have a new Batman Superman movie and if you guys go back to my Man of Steel review you would see the fact that I was actually talking about this and how this is the next logical step you want to build a Justice League, you're going to do it from the bottom up. So you've revealed Superman, now bring Batman into the mix, have the two feud for a bit, and then start working together, and then start building the Justice League little by little by little by little. And apparently there's going to be a Flash movie as well. Looking forward to that. The Green Lantern, there's not really any talk about that, if they're going to reboot it, or if he's just going to appear in the Justice League movie. No, there's nothing talking about that at the moment, or if Reynolds is going to actually reprise the role of Hal Jordan, you know. Um, to me, this is a good thing, you know, in, in terms of, uh, there's guys out there who are complaining about it, Angry Joe was talking about it a little bit, and how he feels this is a bad move, because they're going to overstep Superman, and like, dominate him with Batman, to make his brand stronger because Batman's a bigger seller than Superman is. The thing that Joe has to understand is that Batman has been doing so well since the previous movie, since the Keaton movies. And there, there's the reason why Batman is such a well-known brand. He was adapted, he became darker, he used to be very uh, camp. Batman's been doing it for a, you know, a bit longer. Uh, if you look at Superman, it was great, they had a great set of movies going on, but then they kind of rushed it with Superman Returns, which everybody knew blue chunks, and the reason being, everyone kept going, Richard Donner, Richard Donner, Richard Donner, Richard Donner, Richard Donner. You had guys out there who were keep, kept going on about Richard Donner and how his legacy was a legacy that they were trying to do, and they were going to make everything seem Richard Donner-esque. For those who don't know, it was actually a movie and a half. That's it. There was no, it was never any, like, Donna trilogy. It was a movie and a half. Then the rest of the movies got really campy, got really stupid. They started creating new superpowers for him. It got ridiculous to the point where people were starting to tune out. They did well in redeeming the character in the Smallville franchise, and then they brought out the, the Man of Steel, which is the Zack Schneider film, which we all love and, and think is great. Now, the best thing to do is to re build the character they need to know where to go from the origin story onwards and the best thing to do is the batman superman movie now think about it for a second you done thinking think about this the character of batman is very mistrusting he's going to go to Metropolis because of the fact that either bruce Wayne's going to have some business going on there or there, there's going to be some sort of issue with them rebuilding the city trying to to get rid of all that damage that's been done from the superheroes killing each other the military who are probably going to have some contract going on with Wayne Enterprises in order to resolve some issues. Now Batman's going to go there and test Superman. We're not going to actually see these guys come to blows and try to kill each other. Batman's a tactician. Think about it. If there's a big alien that could basically destroy him with one grasp, I think there's going to be a bit of a, a, a sort of a tactical thing that he's going to try and find a way around this a uh, way that he can actually weaken Superman, or to find out if this guy can prove his metal that he's actually going to be protecting people instead of killing them. And they're the two main points that people need to look at here. And again, yes, I do understand the whole issue with, well, he is a bigger franchise. It doesn't matter. Think about who you're talking to here. Think about what the company is that's dealing with it, and think about the fact that Zack Snyder will not destroy the Superman brand in favour of a Batman movie. That won't happen. We're going to see a world's finest here, a Batman, Superman, world's finest thing go on, where it will be revealed a bigger villain will be coming. Batman will probably be the anti-hero in this, as he always is, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But again, he's a detective first. We won't see Superman as this government body fighting for what's right in the American government and listening to everybody, including the president. He won't do that. He will fight on for his own side and what he feels is right. That's the one thing that they managed to push forward for the Man of Steel movie. That was the one theme they, they put forward for the character. He has morals. He has a moral compass. Forget about the fact that the line was said from Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. 
They were only doing that to push the fact that these two were going to be rivals. That Batman would be standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. That's fine. Okay, so stop that. It's not going to be Batman owning Superman or pawning Superman. This is a logical step, and it's the right logical step to take. In terms of a Man of Steel sequel, it's going to be a world's finest movie, and that's what we need at the moment. You need to reintroduce Batman into um, the DC universe, so to speak, the film universe, exactly the way that they did with the Justice League movies, where they introduced Iron Man, they introduced Captain America, they introduced all these other major and minor characters back into the universe in order to have these guys work together for a common goal. No one was friends at first, then they ended up becoming um, a group, a team. And that's what's going to happen with this. And I believe the initial concept for the Justice League will be stemming from this movie. Now with that being said, don't fret, there is nothing actually written on paper yet in terms of a script. I trust David S. Goyer, he hasn't steered me wrong. So he'll probably do a good script. All I'm going to say is, learn from your Green Lantern errors. Learn from the, some of the errors from the Man of Steel movie. The, the fact that how this character, um, it, it was pushed more action orientated instead of actually abiding by the story. Um, the fact that they uncle Ben Parr Kent. All the little flaws that that movie had. Still was a good movie, mind you. Right, so don't start making... Like, you know, swearing at me and stuff because of that. Because it's still a good movie. But they need to learn from that and build upon it. And I believe that's what they're going to do. I believe this is a great logical step. I believe the movie's going to be awesome. Now, I need to know who the next Batman's going to be. So you guys leave your comments. Tell me who you feel the next Batman's going to be. Hopefully, it will be someone more... Um, I, I would say Michael Keaton-esque. Sort of a small guy, small build... Um, who's able to transition into the character, someone who's more dominant with the way that he is, his presence, his voice, uh, with Zack Schneider's direction, I think it's going to do well. Um, hopefully, as well, the, it will stand out to the point that they will be doing another Batman franchise to spawn off of this, which would be great, and maybe even do another Batman-Superman team-up movie uh, eventually, which is what I hope this is going to happen. Um, in, in terms of the character i believe it's distancing itself from nolan's movie so we're going to see a new bruce wayne a new batman we won't see no jason gordon levitt we're not going to see um another christian bale i, I believe bale's kind of distancing himself from it and decided to go and pick other roles which is it's understandable bale wants to move on and that's what he's doing um in terms of Actors who can play it, I don't know at the moment. I'm going to do, I'll probably end up doing a top 10 video list on this in regards to who I feel could play the next Batman because it's a hard choice. Uh, I believe Jason Gordon Levitt would have been great, not as Batman though, more as Robin um, and more as Nightwing because he just seems, he has the face, he has the characterization, he has everything, all the tools to be that character. I don't think he'd be good as Batman, truthfully. Sorry, guys. Um, in terms of actors, I don't care if it's a British or American actor as long as they can pull off Bruce Wayne. The person who does it, do your research, be knowledgeable. That's pretty much it. Give me your choices, guys. Leave out at the bottom there under the link. Tell me who you feel is gonna would be a great Batman in the movie, how you feel that this movie is going to play out, and exactly why you think they've decided to go in this direction. Leave your comments and remember to subscribe, like, do everything that you can do for the channel for me to make more videos, and I will do. And yes, I know I've been wearing a lot of vests lately, but it's been hot, so yeah. So that's pretty much it for me, guys, and stay tuned to Nerd Genius for more vids and more stuff in regards to Comic-Con and Evo. I'm going to be doing my Evo roundup today as well. Stay tuned for that.